Welcome back, people. Uh, Professor Piyush here. So, in the previous part, we practiced one of the wonderful applications of the Move tool through which we can stretch geometry in SketchUp and how Autofold in SketchUp helps us in stretching the geometry. Another wonderful and most used application of the Move tool is copying the object. So, in this video, we will explore and practice different methods to copy and paste objects in SketchUp with the help of Move and Rotate tool. Let's start then. In SketchUp, you can copy geometry by using following ways. The copy and paste commands of Windows, which is Ctrl plus C for copy and Ctrl plus V to paste, which is very common. The move tools and the rotate tool. When you copy and paste with the move tool, you can make a single copy or create multiple copies and tell SketchUp where and how to place them in your model. You can even paste the geometry in your current model from another SketchUp model. Copying objects by using the Rotate tool is very handy when you want one or more copies to circle around the center point as shown on the screen. The simplest way to copy a geometry in SketchUp is by using the Windows Copy Paste command. Let's see how it works. Using the Select tools in Windows, select the geometry you want to copy. Now, to copy that object, either use copy from the edit menu on the menu bar or use a keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus C to copy your selection. Similarly, for pasting the copied object, either select paste from the edit menu on the menu bar or use Ctrl plus V as a keyboard shortcut. On your screen, you can see the cursor has changed to the Move Tool icon and your copied geometry floats around as you move the mouse. Now, you can click where you want to place the copied geometry. If you want to duplicate geometry at the same place where it is originally, you can use the SketchUp Paste in Place command. It will create duplicate copies in the same place. Let's say you want to make another geometry at the same place similar to the original geometry as another option. Then creating a duplicate will help. You can hide the original and start working on the duplicate or newly copied geometry. The Move tool can copy geometry or make numerous copies with only a few clicks and keystrokes. Using the Move tool to make a copy also allows for more precise placement of a copy because you can specify an exact start point for your copy operation. Also, when you copy with the Move tool, you can specify an interval for each copy. This feature is particularly useful for creating 3D models of fences, bridges and decks, where several posts or beams are equally spaced. Copy with the Move tool using the following steps. Using the Select tool in Windows, select the geometry you want to copy. Select the Move tool from the toolbar or press M key. The cursor changes to a four-way arrow. To tell SketchUp that you want to duplicate the selected entities, tap the Control key in Windows to activate the copy function. A plus sign appears next to the four-way arrow cursor. Click the selected entities. A copy of your selection follows your cursor around in your model. On your screen, you can see how the entity is copied and can be moved in any direction by choosing any base point or source point. Also, if you change your mind to copy that object before you place your copied entity anywhere in the model, just tap the control key once again to go back to the move command. You can also do the opposite of it by clicking the control key while you are moving the entity and SketchUp will copy your entity at that moment only. 
keeping the original entity intact in its original place as shown on your screen. Click where you want to place your copy. To move your selection to a precise distance, type any length value as shown on your screen and then press enter. The copied geometry appears selected when you click. The original geometry is no longer selected. To create multiple and equally spaced copies, we have to type a distance value followed by a multiplier value or a divisor value to get the result. Let's practice that and see. First, let's create multiple copies by using a multiplier value. Select the entity, activate the move command, tap the control key and now copy the object from any base point. Type any desired distance as spacing between two objects, press enter. Now your entity is copied at a specified distance. Immediately after pressing enter, Type the number of copies you want, followed by the multiplier symbol shown on your screen. Press enter. This will create copies automatically of the same number at the same distance. Also, if you want to be more precise about your spacing, you can follow another method by creating one sample copy and then using it as a reference. Let's do it and see. We follow the same steps as before for copying an object by the move tool. But this time, we will copy it just adjacent to an entity or any other specific point from where you want to start the spacing. Follow the steps on your screen. Do the first copy at a specified spacing between two entities. Now, select your first copy by taking the base point from the original entity and do the second copy as shown on the screen. Immediately after your second copy, type the number of copies you want by using the multiplier value as we did previously to create more copies at the same specific distance. Another method to create multiple copies is by dividing the distance between the original and copied entity. Let's see how it's done. We follow the same steps as before for copying, but instead of giving the spacing between entities, we will copy the entity at the end first by typing the desired distance or taking any reference point. Immediately after you press enter, type the division value this time using a slash and followed up with the number of divisions you want. Then press enter. Let's say you are designing a fence or a balcony railing of a random distance. There will be an end point and starting point. It is similar to that. Now our entities are spaced equally, automatically between the specified distance we want it. How cool is that? Whether you want to model a semicircular staircase or place your geometry around a center point, the Rotate tool simplifies the work. To rotate copies around a center point, follow these steps. With the Select tool in Windows, select the geometry you want to copy and rotate. Select the Rotate tool on the toolbar or press Q key. Click where you want the rotation center point to be, as shown on the screen. Now, click the selection you want to copy and rotate. As you can see on your screen, the inference line appears after clicking the geometry, which acts as a guide while rotating the object. We can also copy by using a rotate tool, which creates a circular array. To tell SketchUp to make copies, we use the same control key in Windows as we did for the move tool. It will toggle the copy functionality. 
this copy function will remain until it is toggled off by pressing the control key again or after the copy process is complete. A plus sign appears next to the rotate cursor. Move the cursor to wherever you want to place your rotated copy. As you move the cursor, an inference line shows the angle between your original geometry and the rotated copy as shown on the screen. Either you can randomly place your copy geometry around a circle or you can give a specified angle to which you want to copy your geometry by tapping in the measurement box. Once your copy geometry is placed, immediately after that, type the number of copies you want around the same center and follow as shown on your screen. Also, if you want to copy at a specific angle but don't want to type it all the time you copy your object, you can use the angle snapping option in SketchUp. Go to Windows, Model Info, click the Unit Options and check the box of Angle Snapping. You can also control the angle at which you want to snap your protractor. In this example, I have taken 15 degrees. Let's check the same. Follow the same process to rotate. But this time while rotating, keep your cursor near the protractor. You will see the cursor is now snapping at every 15 degrees. And also the blue spokes in the protractor increase and decrease as you change the snapping angle in SketchUp as shown on your screen. We can also create equally spaced copies as we did in the linear array earlier, following the same process. For that, follow the steps shown on the screen. Okay, that's it guys. Uh, I hope you are practicing more and more to get pro in SketchUp. Follow the steps in this video to master the copy and array copy in SketchUp. All methods are useful while modeling. If you want to continue learning, watch the next video where you can practice various applications of Erase tool, learn softening and smoothing of edges, and also how to hide and unhide the geometry in SketchUp. See you there. Thanks.